Hello, oh, well, my name is Fox Rental. Big and I'm at Fox. And um, this is the reaction to Alita Battle Angel. From what I could tell from the image alone was that it was from anime. Because, by God, look at those ginormous eyes. Actually, I'm going to feel bad if that's actually her actual... Yeah, I'm making fun of it. Yeah. I don't think they are. They look CG. But, yeah, like... This... Wait, there's a Death Stranding trailer? Why have I not seen that yet? I need to do that next. But, um... Yeah, there's a... This... It looks anime. It looks anime. I have no idea what it's about, but I want to check it out and see what it goes, so... Let's just get into this. No, those are so fake. Oh, God, this is why you don't do anime in live action like that. Uh-huh. Yeah? Just don't... Don't, you know, demonetize me because of the freaking song. And, uh, that is a horrifying body. Oh, that's... That's just creepy. That's just so creepy. I know, but God, God, what is wrong with your eyes? You look like those, like, big-eyed picture things. That, like, Tim Burry made a movie about... Those are some ginormous eyes. Oh my god, that's hor- Oh my- That is just- Oh god, that's horrifying! Is- Are her eyes supposed to look like that? Or like- Oh god, what is this? Oh god! Well, and that's, that's CG, though. That, this is, like, video game looking. Yeah, I can tell that from her freaking face. Why? Why are her eyes so big? Why, why are her eyes so big? Hold on. I, I need to... I need to... I need to. Oh god, I need to. Battle Angel. I don't care about the- I don't care about that. I want- there you go, I want this one. I want this one. Known as Gunnam Gundream. Okay. Series created by Yoshiro originally. Da -da -da -da. Uh, I want to know, is this character supposed to have these giant eyes, or did they just take, like, we're adapting anime to ridiculous level? Um, the series set a post-apocalyptic future, yeah. Cyborg, who has lost all memories and is found in a garbage heap of cybernetic, cybernetics, doctor who rebuilds and takes care of her. She discovers that it is one thing she remembers the legendary cyborg martial arts Panzer Kunst, who leads to her... Becoming a hunter warrior or bounty hunter, the story traces Alita attempts to rediscover her past and characters whose lives she's impacted. On. Oh, I'm I'm right already right now. I'm gonna see a lot of connect right now. I'm gonna say like people who just saw the Ghost in a Shell are gonna look like, hey, this is the Ghost in a Shell kind of backstory kind of thing. Mind you, I've actually since watching the movie, I actually saw the original anime movie as well as I believe Standalone Complex. Um. Way better. Uh, <laughs> uh, but hold on, maybe if I find, maybe if I find the manga, maybe. See, manga wise, okay, yeah, she has those big eyes, but it still looks like it all fits within this world. This again. I, I brought this up. When did I bring this up? I brought this up. Oh, God damn. When did I bring it up that it looks realistic, but to, but it also looks just strange. Like, see this. This looks like anime. This looks like anime, and I'm and I'm fine with that. I don't know. This just looks like regular anime. I don't know if her eyes are supposed, but. 
yeah, this looks like regular anime. I don't know if they did it just to make her look more like the character? I guess? But there had to be a different way than this. I'm I'm sorry, but by God, look at wait, where is it? Just God dang it, you want look at that? That's terrifying. That looks horrible. That looks horrible. But again, that looks like um. Crazy. Anime realistic. Not that, but no, that's not what I need. Anime real life. Something kind of like, kind of like that. I can't find that picture I had last time. I guess that kind of fits it. It just looks off-putting and say what you want about whitewashing with um scarlett johansson hold on scarlett johansson don't bring up anything bad okay no scarlett johansson uh the major say what you want she at least kind of looks like the major Comparison. She kind of at least looks somewhat like the character. Yeah, not exactly, of course, but she looks oh, kind of exact. She kind of looks like the character, which, okay, yeah, that works. They could have given her some red contacts and purpled up her hair a little bit more. But, yeah, it at least works. But, yeah, actually, they could have given her a little better bangs. But, freaking creepy as fudge alita that looks i don't know if maybe that is her like signature thing that she has these giant eyes maybe she does i have no idea i have not seen this but going in there blank looking at this i am terrified and not to mention the cg the cg is is uh how should i put this not good uh wait who's playing wait what is it Rosa Salazar as Alita. Rosa Salazar. You know what? Take out the ginormous anime eyes. She looks like the character. I'm not. She looks like. Oh my god, that is terrible. No. Just no. Take the anime's eyes off her. She actually kind of looks like what the character would look like if you transitioned her into this world. And again, I don't know. Fans of Alita out there, tell me what you guys know. Tell me if, you know, her eye, big eye thing is like a major part of the manga. Or if that is just, you know, anime style. But, God, that is horrifying. And the CG doesn't help because this looks like a freaking... Something I should be playing on my PS4. Which... Mind you, I like CG. I love good CG. Front. Rocket Raccoon? Heck yeah. Um, the dragons in Game of Thrones? Fudge, yes. Um, and I can understand maybe um, TV-wise, when some, some, some animation is that good, The Walking Dead, even though I'm not the biggest fan of it right now, Tiger, kind of cool. Um, DC's Legends of Tomorrow's giant robots look like crap, but hey, you know what? TV, all right. This... This is some high-end graphics for a video game. Movie-wise, no. It, oh, God, she's just... It's horrifying. Like, it looks like... Ah, <laughs> ah God dang it. It looks like this. This is exactly what it looks like. Big eyes. Oh, God. But that's what that looks like. It's... This doesn't... This looks... 
like high end CG for a video game. That's what this looks like. And it looks like they botched the eyes and like the eyes are gonna pop out of her head. This, his head does not look like it matches this body at all. You think the robot body would match it, but it looks like his head is too big for like this slenderish frame. Ah, oh, God, they went too far. If you're going to make a character look like this, make all of them look like this and put it in a more anime-ish setting. Don't put them against regular people because then it's going to look and weird. And it does look fucking weird. Oh, God, this looks so goddamn weird. This. Hold on, what are the trailer? What are these saying? Feels like it's going to be a trilogy. Saw this late at night. Didn't get any sleep. Looks too fake, this isn't 2017 quality, yep. The eyes look kind of funny to me, but doesn't look bad at all. Oh, God, I don't know what's wrong with you. I agree, it's a little odd, but not the bad way. I don't know about that. There's a reason why anime style eyes are meant to be left in anime, because then this happens. Yes, yes. Uh, based on doesn't have her looking like some creepy wide-eyed thing, so I have to wonder if they Shows to make her look so off-putting. Well, actually, she does in both the comic and show. Go back and look at her. She has the biggest head. The body ratio. The other characters have average portions there, too. Design changed a few times in original manga. It seems she did have, get her head blown off a few times and swapped her brain with a, for a microchip. But the way she looked in the first few volumes had some wide, creepy eyes. <laughs> <laughs> this would be available in IMAX. <laughs> I'm, I'm faving that. I don't care. That is amazing. Oh, God. But I, I don't care. I don't care if in the manga her head looks ginormous and gi has... Because, again, anime is anime. If you're going to make her look more doll-like, fine. Make her actually look doll-like. Maybe have her completely look like that robot, like her arms kind of do, like a porcelain looking doll or something. But having this actual looking skin and then the overblown eyes, like those filters that, I forgot what social media it is, that makes her eyes super big and makes her voice very squeaky. Then you get this. And this is not good. This is terrifying. This is terrifying. I agree with this man. Saw this late night. Didn't get any sleep. Mind you, I dream of worse things, but still. Terrifying. And, again, CG looks like some kind of God of War thing. Mind you, if that's the same guy from earlier, his head matches that better. This, honestly, I'd be fine with. The only thing I'm really having a problem with is her fucking anime face. Her real, real life, to, real life to now anime face. This looks scary. Put this in 2D. Put this in CG. Perfect. Works well. Put this in real life. Fudge it. You f it all up. You screwed it up. It looks terrible and horrifying. I, I really wonder if I want to go see this now because this is scary. Scary. This is terrifying. And this is coming from someone who doesn't get scared at scary movies because he's played freaking horror games. He played Amnesia the Dark Descent. He's played freaking FNAF and all that bull crap. This is what's scaring me. This is freaky. And it's weird. And mind you, I like weird, but this looks bad. This looks so bad. This looks so bad. This face looks so bad. This is something I don't know if I'd actually go see in theaters because this is... Oh, God. Oh, God. I'd rather... I'd take Scarlett Johansson as the major over this. Oh, God. That's the face of a... That's the face of... I'm going to eat you. <laughs> that is what that face is. And it's horrifying. But tell me what you guys in the comments below think for watching. Is this going to give you nightmares tonight? Who the fudge knows? But anyway, thank you for watching. Check out my videos I've done. Links are on Facebook. They're down there somewhere. And we will. See you later. Just, just know. Just know.